why simplifying your life and your business is necessary. My goal uh, as a coach, uh, life coach and business coach is centered around helping women to simplify their business and their life. I, I have a video that dates back to 2011. I've done a seminar uh, to other owners on you know, growing their business. And I talked about all of the hats that we wear as women. Some of us are wives, moms, daughters. Uh, some of us own the business and some of you still work full time in the business. You're Uber driver, the nurse, the counselor, all the things. And it's a lot of hats to wear. For me personally, my goal when I was a brick and mortar service-based business owner was to duplicate the things that I had mastered in other people, to delegate things out so that I'd have more time for the things that I love and also be able to make money while doing them. So I was fortunate. I did not miss a beat when it came to PTA meetings, my daughter's field trips, all of those things until she finally got to the age where she said, look, ma, I want to go to something by myself. So I was fortunate in that respect, but I hadn't quite mastered how to attend all of those things and still make larger sums of money and also not be exhausted in the process. And so it has always been my goal as a business coach to help women to simplify the process that they're doing in their business, which often means they have to simplify the processes that are going on in their life. Um, I remember uh, feeling like, although I was doing all of the things, there was this, this heavy load that was <clears throat> connected to it. And I believe one of the reasons was because my picking process was producing chaos. I'm gonna say that one more time. My picking process was producing chaos. At the time I was in an unhealthy marriage, you know, the level of support needed wasn't there. My picking process um, was, was chaotic. And that's when it came more and more evident to me that my business needed to be in alignment with my personal life, right? And for many of you, the desire is definitely there to be there for your children and attend family events and all the things. But sometimes when you're finished with the whole thing that you're doing, that you got going on, all the stuff you got going on, you're just too tired. I remember missing so many family events, not my immediate family necessarily, but extended family, girlfriends, trips, things of that nature. And I do believe that there is a time in life where you have to be, be sacrificial, right? Where you can't attend every wedding and all of those things. You have to make decisions, but you still should have a life in the process. And if we aren't careful in our pursuit of um, obtaining all of our goals, the time isn't really there to make sure that our children are achieving their goals as well. And as a parent, for me, I just felt I had a responsibility. So it's been a huge part of my plight in my own personal journey to continue find ways to do things less my effort, to earn more, less my effort, and to really simplify the process. So one of the reasons it's necessary for you to simplify your business and your life, let's talk about the definition of simplify. Really simple, right? Really simple. Simplify is to make something simple or easier to do or understand. To make something simple or easier to do or understand. And if you're not careful, the whole entrepreneurial journey thing can begin to be overwhelming. You have your hands in everything. And a lot of that has to do with where our mindset is at that time, if we're in a space of desperation or uh, scarcity thinking or lack thinking, uh, it can cause us to reach for a lot of things. Now, when I say scarcity thinking and lack thinking, I want you to know that there are people who earn millions of dollars who are still operating from a space of lack and a space of scarcity. So it is not an income type thing. Like if your income is here, you're going to be thinking scarcity. No, 
it's a mindset and it carries over to every new level that you go to. And it also dictates how you do business <clears throat> and how you do life. So one important reason I feel, especially as women, most of us are so um, hopeful and we have big hopes and dreams for our children as well. And in our plight to do all the things, right? To leave a legacy for them. If we aren't careful, the time that's needed to really help our children to focus even on their goals um, isn't there or to assure that they're achieving their goals, that's not there. I remember, especially, you know, after my divorce, it was a really sensitive time. My daughter and I both needed uh, levels of healing in our life. And I'm so glad that I had been going on this journey to really simplify my life so that I could still earn money and be there for her, right? Be attentive, be mindful, be watchful of, you know, just how life was treating her and how she was feeling with all of the new changes and things going on in our life and things that we had gone through prior to. So one reason I feel for, for us as women that is so necessary that we simplify our business and our life is so that we can do our heart's desire and that's to be present and available to the extent that we should um, for our children. The number two uh, reason is, um, and this is, I'm gonna talk about my own reasons and how I see that they are necessary for the women who come to me for support, the things that they are saying that they desire. So for one, I needed time for self-care. When you're all over the place, when you're uncertain about you know, what you should be putting the largest part of your energy, your time, and your resources into, uh, there's rarely time for self-care. The, the number of entrepreneurs I know who don't have moments in the day or month, right, or even year, just to take time out for their selves, it's, it's astronomical. Right, and so many people burn out not because um, of everything that's going on in their life, but some of the things that they haven't allowed the time for. Right, so I believe many entrepreneurs don't operate at their highest um, because of areas in their life that need healing, because of areas in their life that need healing, physical health, well-being. Um, emotional healing, mindset healing, healing. That's when we go into, you know, really healing the 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 sense of lack or uh, poverty thinking or scarcity thinking. Not even having the time or taking the time. I'm gonna say that again because I said having, and that's two totally two totally different things. But taking the time for um, self care and a lot of the way your business model is set up is what will allow you the time to do that with ease, without things falling apart, right? And so the way you operate and your, your business and your life doesn't afford you the time for self-care. Is that you? The way you operate your business and your life doesn't allow you time for self-care. The third reason is, like me, your picking process is chaotic, right? the way you pick friends, relationships, even staff. I saw, I remember an entrepreneur um, coming down my timeline. It's been a, a few years ago, but this is registering for me as I'm sharing with you, talking about people they had hired and how they just knew this was the right person. But I never heard them talk about a process or a system or you know, actually interviewing the people or actually vetting the people. And wouldn't you know that same entrepreneur is in the space now where they're complaining about the people that they hired, right? And so when your picking process is producing chaos, uh, it's obvious that it needs to be simplified. Now, I'm a systems girl. Systems is one of my superpowers. And so I believe in having systems in your business and in your life when you're beginning to go to new levels. Uh, the, the growth stage, from that C stage to the growth stage. I believe I talked about this in one of either my last uh, video or the one prior to that about the S-curve and the different stages of growth and how as you move higher up, you actually simplify. So your expansion is actually a process of simplifying. And these are some reasons 
you know, that those things are are necessary ones so you can have time for the things that you really love without always losing money in order to do it, right? Because we want business that actually works for us and not businesses that we always have to work for in order to earn the money, where we're not always trading our time for dollars. Now, this could look like you hiring someone. Maybe you need a coach. Maybe you need a new level of accountability that's going to slow you down so that someone can help you see um, the forest, right? They say you can't see the forest because of the trees, because you're so deep into all of the different things that you have uh, going on. Uh, most entrepreneurs feel if they do more stuff, they'll make more money. If they do more stuff, they'll make more money. I've worked with plenty of entrepreneurs who haven't maximized some of the very first things that they've started. And because they are trying to do so many things, neither one of the streams of revenue are really producing what it should be producing. And if they maximize the first two streams or three streams of revenue that they have, they wouldn't have to work so hard. It would be producing more revenue. But the mindset is often, if I do more stuff, I'll make more money when actuality, they usually just work harder and earn less than they would if they were in a space of simplifying their business and really maximizing some of the streams of revenue that they already have. Uh, speaking of maximizing, I did, I hosted a live event, oh gosh, maybe about four or five years ago called Maximize. And I just thought about it now. Uh, maybe I'll put add that to 3D Success Academy. If, if I can go through my files and find uh, the curriculum for that, I think I'll add that to 3D Success Academy. Although when I'm working with clients privately, I use a lot of those concepts, but I really like to give that as like a masterclass inside the academy. So I think I'll um, make a note, a quick note just to put that in, in the academy. Uh, but maximizing and simplifying is one of the reasons that my clients are able to three to five X their income less their effort because we go through and look to see where they're spending more energy on than they need to, right? Are they doing things that are, are not necessarily going to move them to the next level? Is there another thing that they could be putting more of their energy into that will produce a greater profit, uh, less their effort? So most entrepreneurs feel if they do more stuff, they'll make more money. And that's not always true. Now, I believe once you've maximized different income streams, then you can move on to other ones because those income streams are producing income and revenue on their own. Is that making sense to you all? I hope this is making sense. Um, the fifth reason I feel, well, I know to be true, that simplifying your business and life is necessary because you can't hear when you got all of that stuff going on. You can't hear the intricate downloads that God is always downloading into your ear gates and into your heart. You can't hear because you're in your routine and all you can hear is what you have to do next that you've been doing over and over and over again. So one of the huge reasons is because you can't hear. You can't hear the clues, right? That you need to pivot a little bit. You can't get the downloads. Um, you can't hear the life-changing moves that you need to make in season. You can't hear the people that are divinely created to assist you. You can't hear them, right? Because you are too busy with so many things. And so five reasons why I feel it's necessary for you to simplify your life and your business. Number one, so that you can take time with the kids if you're a parent or People that you love, some of you desire to be in relationships, but your life is too consumed, right? Your business model uh, is not set up so that you're able to even dedicate any time to being in a committed relationship, a serious relationship. I've been there, right? Where I've told people, look, I'm just too busy right now, right? And whenever I find myself, as it, as it relates to relationships and dating, uh, whenever I find myself doing that, it's either one or two things. I might not quite be into them the way, you know, the, the perfect, my perfect person would 
have me into them or I really need to just reevaluate how I'm doing business so that I can make sure that I'm doing life. I remember where I was doing all of these things publicly. My business was doing well. I was speaking in front of thousands of people. Um, a lot of things were going great, right? So I was a boss in my business, but I was basic in my personal life. I was a boss in my business, but I was basic in my personal life. And I believe that um, those things need to be in alignment. And the, the only way to do that is to simplify what you have going on. Um, if this speaks to you, if this registers to you, we have um, an amazing curriculum that I've designed inside 3D Success Academy for women. It is a 12 month track. And at this current time until November the 11th, it is on sale, right? We're doing this 11-11 sale. If you've watched my very first video, I kind of talked about why I even felt led to do this particular sale. And the Academy is never on sale. It's, you know, the, the, the regular cost is the regular cost. It's a, a high um, value for the investment cost that it currently is. But I really felt led and in, in, at this time until November the 11th, it's $1,111 off. If you're looking for a growth track, a holistic space to, um, holistic safe space to really grow your life and your business and maximize your um, your efforts. I'd love for you to join us inside 3D Success Academy. There should be a link either above this video, below this video, or somewhere in the circumference of this video for you to join us. And at this point, you may have maybe six, seven days left before it goes back to regular price. Um, it's necessary. Simplify your business and your life so that you can enjoy it. You don't want to be a boss in your business and basic in your personal life, right? Or you don't want to be a boss in your personal life and basic in your business. You want alignment. That's my take on today. You guys have a good one.